Hello YouTubers. Um, today I'm going to be talking about something which I've been having troubles with for a good couple of months now. It's cyanobacteria. It's this nasty green stuff here. Um, <coughs> it's not really an algae. Some people call it blue-green algae, but it's a bacteria really that photosynthesizes. Um, as you can see, apologize for the uh, rubbish camera, but it's just my phone. It's growing all along the inside of my tank here, and it's a small spot there, and also again around here. Now, I have to tell you, this growth at the moment is intentional for the purpose of this video. I have had it under control, and um, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about how to fight this. It's an incredibly nasty um, infection, I would say. Um, previously, I've tried doing the blackouts, which worked to some degree, but I just found that the bacteria changed its morphology, and rather than being along the sand and the substrate, it turned into filaments uh, on the plant. So, you know, four-day blackout didn't really work for me. I'm not one to use um, antibiotics. You know, if it got really bad, I might consider it, but um, I've actually figured out a better way of doing it after reading some internet forums. This kind of uh, bacteria thrives on low flow in your tank and also um, influx of nutrients. So this is how I got this to grow actually. I, I've been kind of cultivating it for the purpose of this video. Added, I added way too much fertilizer and inconsistently added the fertilizer also and uh, I've been giving it too much light. So basically, too much fertilizer, extended photo periods, and low flow in your tank gives you this bacteria. There's a lot of spe spe um, sp speculation, that's the word, about nitrate levels within your tank, um, them being so high that it actually stops the growth of this. Now, I keep my nitrate levels at around, well, between 30 and 40 um, ppm, purely because, as you can see, my tanks, when it focuses, if it focuses, uh, ignore that floating piece there. Um, it's quite heavily planted. I've got some Java, fern, some crypt, and uh, anubias and everything. So I, I need I need the nutrients there, but I don't need to fertilise which is why I've got quite a lot of algae as well growing. And, um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to get rid of this. And it's quite easy, really. As well as controlling your photo period, increasing your flow, hence why I've got uh, one there, Arena Fill Star 3, I think it is, and a small Aquaflow 1, I think that is, just giving me the flow. That floating piece there uh, literally just fell off one of my Java ferns as I was poking around, so I'll, just, I'll get rid of that in a moment. But anyway, basically, this is your best friend here, hydrogen peroxide, <clears throat> 3%. You can get it from your pharmacist. I think this bottle, I think it's 200 mils, yeah, 200 mils, cost me a pound. So, you know, it's very good. Doesn't really harm your fish. It might uh, harm them if you put it straight onto them, but that's not what I'm going to be doing. Breaks down from uh, hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen within around 40 minutes. But the best part is this is very um, really doesn't like oxygen. It's very sensitive to oxygen, that's what I was trying to say. So, when this, which is like super oxygenated, shall we say, comes in contact with this, it kills it. So what we do, 
is you get yourself a small syringe. I don't know how big this is. Um, five mil, I think it is. Yeah, five mil. And you basically just turn off all your pumps and filters, which is what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to stop the video and then I'm going to come back. So here we are. I've unplugged everything, which is important to uh, realise. You're messing with water and electricity. So just whenever you're doing anything with your tank, um, just unplug everything and make sure that you're not going to electrify yourself or blow the circuits in your house. So, what you do is you suck out some hydrogen peroxide. Now this bottle is half full, so doing this one-handed isn't the easiest. That sucked, didn't it? Let's try again. Let me put this camera down. So here we are. Syringe of hydrogen peroxide. Now, you'll get a lot of people on uh, various forums going, oh, I don't use loads, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I have found that you can use a fair bit. And it doesn't actually do anything to your fish or your water other than oxygenize the water so if this will ever zoom or um, focus, I mean, basically you just squirt the area. I am squeezing now. You can see a little bit of flow come out. You just squirt the area with this. You have to turn the filter filtration off because otherwise it will just get mixed in with your water and turn to uh, oxygen. And that immediately... Can you see the bubbles? So yeah, that means you're doing the right, a good job. So yeah. So I'm going to do the whole of my tank for the affected areas. I wish it would zoom. I mean focus. But yeah, you can, you can within that blur. You can make out the bubbles, and that's basically the H2O2 turning into water and oxygen. But the cyanobacteria hate it, and it kills them. It's toxic. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the rest of my tank, and you can be quite thorough. You can really get deep into the substrate there and just, just give it a good uh, blast of this. It will kill it. It takes, it takes a few days. Um, it's not an instant fix. But it's better than... Um, Using a erythromycin, I think it's erythromycin, which is the antibiotic, which you can get at pet you can get at pet, st um, pet stores. I'm not very good with my English today. I think it's because it's a Sunday. I'm just sort of chilled out. So yeah, get it right in there, and already it's bubbling. You can see the bubbles. It's quite intense bubbling. You'll get quite a lot of um, debris as well float, floating around because it gets lifted by the micro bubbles. Um, I'm going to do the whole of my tank because uh, you know, I had it under control using this method, and now it's come back, so I want to get rid of it again. And I'm going to do another video tomorrow where I show you basically the stages of this disappearing. Tomorrow, most of this is going to be gone. There's going to be a little bit left. So, um, I'll add that bit on as my day two. Okay, so here it is. I've done 
the whole of my tank, the inside the substrate. It's just bubbling a lot now. So that's good. That means it's that means it's working. I've done, I've done individual hot spots. Doesn't bubble so much when you do underneath the substrate. It tends to get stuck. You know, gas can tends to get stuck under there. But I mean that bit's bubbling nicely. So the important thing for this is to turn off your filtration. You don't want any flow in your tank. And I leave it for around 40 minutes to, uh, to an hour. And then I'll turn it all back on. You don't even need to do a, uh, a part water change afterwards because it, you know, it just turns to water and oxygen. Um, I've used, I don't know how much have I used, about four syringes worth of um, H2O2, so what's that, about 20 mils, but I think you can use a bit more. I would be careful though, I mean, um, you don't want to over oxygenate your tank, because that can be just as toxic as uh, under oxygenating your tank to the fish. But yeah, I will get back to you with uh, the results tomorrow.